So in this week's video, let's take a look at Webb Simpson, who's really been playing great golf the last year or so. He sort of disappeared for a while after winning the U.S. Open, but he's really brought his game back around. And who knows, maybe it was family obligations or something else, but certainly he is playing much, much better. If we look at his swing, it's a swing that doesn't look like it would repeat as well as it does, but he certainly has the mental game and putts really well. But the swing itself, really a testament to his talent, to his ability, and there is a simplicity to the swing, but there are a couple things I'd like to point out that would make it a little harder to repeat for some players. So if we look at his takeaway, he takes it back you know, a lot with the arms and getting the wrist going early, gets the face pretty open, and he gets sort of the anti-Dustin Johnson at the top where he has a very cupped left wrist you can see there at the top it's not flat or bowed like Dustin Johnson's the opposite which opens the club face so with an open club face there see from the other view here you really see the cupping in that wrist right up here and this sort of vertical look here to the left hand and that's going to require uh, the arms and hands working a little bit harder to close that club face coming down. So if he were to spin wide open like a lot of guys do with lower body, he wouldn't have time to square that thing up. So he doesn't spin as hard or as quick. He has the lower body moving first, of course. He's in his legs pretty well there, certainly flex down. Creates a ton of lag, but much more lag using the arms and upper body. You can tell not as much with the legs or core like a McElroy would do or a rotator. And using that lag, we know his face is open coming into impact. We'll see that on some other views here. But through the hitting zone, his hips are not as wide open as a lot of guys are. He is turning in a circle, however. He is not sliding at all. But it's lag, and then he really gets those forms rotating. Squares that thing off. Finishes right up on that left leg nice and tall. Good rotation. But he does have some timing issues. You can see that club face is going from open to completely closed. At that point, really a lot of turnover on that club face. So that would be, for most players, tougher to time that up. Certainly in today's era of rotating sort of closed face golfers. But because he has great width, a nice short swing, and a good understanding of how to create the ball flight he wants, it, he's able to repeat this very well. From a more traditional look here from down the line. You know, once again, that club going back with the hands and arms rotating it wide open. A lot like you really sort of see preached or talked about in Ben Hogan's book. Really rotating that face wide open, getting a cup position, but he keeps it very, very short. And then a down cocking sort of move or creating lots of lag at this point in his legs nicely, but like I said, at this point, compared to a lot of players, just not opening up nearly as much because he has to time up the closing of that club face. And then just does his best to, to impact. He does rotate definitely right around his left hip. It's a very short, effective swing, but he's got amazing talent for that timing to be right with his hands, arms, wrists, forearms to get that club face back to square each time knowing just how much that that thing is closing and rotating through the hitting zone so if you're a player who tends to get the face more open and you struggle to get it some consistency on the way down one of the, one of the key notes to getting the club back to this point square at impact time after time is the width he creates we'll shoot, look at that in another picture here in a second with the left arm extremely straight then as he comes through, even though it's rotating over, club face is closing rapidly and really rolling over by keeping the width so good in his arms, he's allowed to create, it creates for him a more consistent bottom of the arc, width of the swing, the low point of the swing is consistent. You can also see he stays very grounded. If you look at his right foot, it's on the ground through hitting, through impact on a lot of his shots. 
which also creates another consistent angle here. If you were to jump up and try to rotate those arms that hard, it's very difficult to time up, but he's staying grounded. He has great width, so he is eliminating or getting it down to where the club face rotation is a variable that he works on. But some of the other variables, that, you know, they could be changing a lot. His posture, his arm width, those are consistent. So that allows him to control that one variable, which is the club face through the hitting zone. And so if you're, once again, if you're a player who tends to get this cupped looking wrist at the top, the club face is more open or the club is more toed down at this point. If you have this amazingly straight left arm, you've eliminated a variable of something that's changing throughout the downswing. As you come down, if you are more grounded and using your legs later for, for power through this area, then your posture stays consistent and you'll be able to time up this closing club face. But on the other hand, if you tend to bend your left arm a lot, or you tend to jump out of your posture a lot, change your angles, there's almost nobody around whose hands and arms are that good at timing to create the same consistent strike point, low point, and club face contact as someone like Webb does with great lag here, extremely good width, see that left arm, Great posture, great leg work. And if he's hitting a curving shot each time, like a little draw, he can play that very, very effectively. Lastly, we'll look at our driver here from Phoenix Open. And you can see here, once again, a pretty armsy takeaway, rotating those wrists, face wide open, left back of the left hand up to the sky, very anti what we see current players doing not saying he's the longest player but he's very consistent very good ball striker and of course a great putter but rotates the thing wide open now he's gonna have to close it at some point there's that excellent width great lag coming down sits in those legs which will give him some power coming into impact goes to rip it once again Pretty quiet in terms of leg work, especially for a driver. And rotates right up onto that left leg. So if you have any questions or comments, leave them below the video. Love to hear it. And until next time, thanks for watching. And we'll see you in the next video.